Hey guys, long time no see. I'm here. I'm about to just move this camera. I'm going to show you my February beauty empties. I actually just got done filming a video where I was showing you the makeup products that I had bought for the year and just kind of saying like where I've been, why you haven't been seeing me as often. And I got done and I don't know, I just felt like it had a really negative feeling. It just, I don't know. I just have like all these thoughts lately that I want to say. So I want you to tell me because my empties videos get the most views. So I feel like that's a good representation. Do you want me to elaborate on like why I haven't been on YouTube as much? What I've been doing in my time without doing YouTube? Just like a chatty video talking to y'all. Let me know if you'd want to see that. Let me know if you want to see a video um, with my makeup products I picked up this year. I'll probably do that anyway. So you don't even have to tell me about that. I'm planning next week to do a favorites. <laughs> I haven't done one in a while. And I can probably also incorporate in within that the makeup products I picked up this year. Or I could do that within the chatty video. Tell me your thoughts. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. I finished off the Alterna Caviar Replenishing Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner. I really like these. I think I have a shampoo left. I've used multiple of these. It has a great lid. It just does that so it can lock in and out. And then it's like a little thing. So you turn it over and squeeze it out. It's great. Ulta has it in their hair deals for half off very, very frequently. At least once a year. I think they have it twice a year, honestly. Um, it's great. I've only ever paid half off for it, I think. I don't know. Okay. This, I, I wouldn't have even shown you this, but I finished it last night. I was going to refill it and put it in my shower, but it's the Bosha Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. I keep this in my shower in case I am taking a shower, washing my face with makeup on. Um, it's a great cleansing oil. I have a full size that I picked up during the Ulta deals, so I'll refill it from that. Okay, this is the Dial Miracle Oil Hand Soap. It's infused with Marula Oil, like my all-time favorite body wash. This is not as moisturizing as the body wash, but it still has the same lovely scent. I do really enjoy it. This I got in one of the Ulta deals. The Dry Bar Mr. Incredible, the Ultimate Leave-In Conditioner. Okay, this is an aerosol can of leave-in conditioner. So I was like, that's really interesting. And it comes out like a spray. It has a, it's a bit of a unisex scent, if I had to be honest. And I liked it. However... I don't wash my hair every day. I feel like my lighting changed. If you don't use it super often, it gets clogged. And like I went to spray it in my hair one day and it just shot like a funky direction across the wall. So once I got like probably a half way through, I started using it on the girls as well as myself. Because I use it on them more often to kind of get it used up. It is really nice, but unless you're using it, every day to every other day, you're going to have that issue. So, I don't know. The Drunk Elephant Bee Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel. Okay. They've since changed it and it's a little thinner. It's called a serum. So, I've used countless of the minis before. And the first mini I used, I was under the impression it was just like a moisturizer. And I think that's how they started targeting it. And it just didn't do enough for me. It just didn't provide any moisture. And then I started hearing people would say they mixed it in with the, like say, the C Firma vitamin C serum. And so they said they made it a little thinner and called us it a serum because they found more people were using it that way. And so I really liked it to give me just like a boost of hydration. On its own, it's definitely not enough for me. You'd have to have pretty oily skin, I think, for it to be enough on its own. But mixed in with something, it's really nice. I did enjoy it. I don't know if I'll repurchase it because I'm using, the, I'm using the Jordan Samuel Hydrate Serum and it's a lot less and I enjoy it just as much. So I'll probably stick with that one. But this is nice. The Laura Mercier Flawless Skin Face Polish. I have been using this off and on since like 2005, 2006. I've gone through countless... Um, in my lifetime of the minis, full size, whatever. It's a really good facial exfoliator if you want some grit, which I don't use very often, but every once in a while I want to have some grit on my face. 
Okay, I have two perfumes. First up is the Hilary Duff with Love. Man, I've had this for a hot minute. It is very woodsy smelling. I really liked it. Um, I, th I think it's probably been discontinued though. And then the Aqualina Pink Sugar, which this is my second or third bottle I've used of it. It smells like a glorified cotton candy scent to me. It's very reminiscent of Prada Candy, but I think this is better and it's less expensive. Maybe I think it's better because I used it first. Maybe if you use Prada Candy first, you might like it better, but I mean, that's just my thoughts. I, I do like it better. I mean, it's a great scent, but it's sweet. Um, I don't know if I'll purchase it again. Probably eventually I'll get another bottle because it is a scent I do like. Okay. I have a bottle of, or a tube of the new lash. I used the Revita Lash two tubes of it. The first tube worked amazing. The second tube just didn't do anything for me. Then I started using this and I noticed really good improvements. And by the end of it, I noticed my eyelashes weren't looking as good. One of you said that your eyelashes get immune to them, so you have to switch it up. I definitely think that happens to me too. So my friend sells Rodin and Field, so I bought a tube of the Lash Boost from her and I just started using it. It has not been long at all, so it's not enough for me to see um, if I have any real results from that, but y'all may notice in future videos, I looked at an older picture of me from when I, this was newer and my eyelashes look so much longer than they do now. So I could definitely tell a difference when it was new to my eyelashes versus over time. And I mean, I know y'all may be like, your eyelashes don't look that long, but they look so much longer than they would if I didn't use an eyelash serum. So to me, it's kind of a must. Okay, the Drunk Elephant C Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream. I almost bought the whole bottle of this because I had a sample and I liked it. But after using this, I'm glad I didn't buy the full bottle. It was okay, but I like something that's just a little thicker for my personal preference. The Clinique Moisture Surge 72 Hour. I love it for daytime. It is my go-to. I've been using this since probably like 2002. No joke. I go through these very consistently. It is one of those you'll see in my empties time and time again. Okay, so I'll talk about this first. Okay, Tula skincare. I We all have seen people talk about Tula, the bloggers, for years on Instagram before it became popular or known. It was, that's all they talked about. And it's like, really, all of y'all all like this and nothing else? I don't know. And I, I'd always been curious because it's like that probiotics and the skincare, which is, you know, good for your gut health. And then rosacea is also related to gut, related to gut health, this and this and this. So I always had, I was curious. And then a girl I follow on here, Casey Ferguson. If y'all don't follow her, I think you might really like her. She's gorgeous. She has two little kids, a stepdaughter. She does like mommy vlogs and stuff. Anyways, I'll try to remember to link her channel. She mentioned this in a video a little while back. And I was like, hmm. And then on my Facebook, it popped up, because I'd never ordered from Tula before, a little ad that was like, get a trial kit for $19. And I was like, hmm. And it's the same kit that they sell for $52. They just have one extra product in it. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it. What's, what can it hurt? And you also get like a $15 off your next purchase with the little trial kit. So I was like, I'll try it. And it came with the Purifying Face Cleanser. The Pro, gosh, I'm tongue tied. Pro Glycolic 10% pH Resurfacing Gel, which is kind of like a toner consistency. The Hydrating Day and Night Cream, and then the Eye Cream, which I actually haven't gotten into the eye cream yet. I've been using other stuff, but I figured using these in combination would give me a real taste of how it worked. I loved them. I loved them so much that I went onto the Tula website and I bought the kit of all of these because I had like a discount code and then I could use the 15 or something like that. I got a really good deal. So the Purifying Face Cleanser is a gel cleanser that foams, which goes against everything that I gen g usually like, but something about it I liked. I felt like it really cleaned out my pores, but my skin didn't feel stripped. Now, it has a bit of a scent, like a clean scent, and 
I don't know if they use fragrance, but it doesn't irritate my skin. I know that fragrance can be an irritant. If it irritates your skin, then it's an irritant. If it doesn't bother your skin, then it doesn't bother your skin. Um, so I really, really enjoyed that. The Pro Glycolic Resurfacing Gel I liked. I feel like I need a glycolic on my skin every night to behave nicely. My skin was looking really great while I was using this system. It's rain out. I'm trying to finish off some other things. And I feel like my skin doesn't look as good as it was. And then the Hydrating Day and Night Cream. I felt like at first this was just kind of like, meh. But I, I really enjoyed it. So once I quit using, and I was only using this at night, by the way. Once I quit using it, using it, gosh, I'm tongue-tied. I've missed it. So... I really enjoyed the line. Um, I mean, you always have to find out what works best for you. While we're talking about Tula, I did pick up this set a while back. I've showed you one before. It's the Instant Bright Sheet Mask by them. It was like a four pack. And this is, I think, only the second one I've used. And I really did like it. So maybe if you like look up Tula, then that little offer will pop up for you. And you can try it. I think it's worth trying. It didn't irritate my, irritate my rosacea. It really helped my skin. I wasn't breaking out. My nose, like the blackhead stuff on my nose was looking better. I was real impressed. Okay, Osmia Lip Doctor. I got this in a Beauty Heroes box a while ago. I'm surprised it was still good. And this lip balm is actually really amazing. It has kind of like a lavender cocoa scent. I mean, it was good and it was a stick natural really good lip balm i would definitely pick it up again the honest hand sanitizer spray i love these because it comes in a spray bottle i keep them and go through them like crazy during this time of year okay the elf eyebrow pencil in neutral brown i go back and forth i will use one that's like a thicker end for a while and then i kind of feel like i need a skinny one and that's what i'm using right now and then i feel like i want a thicker one this is like one to three dollars i just can't ever remember what it is it's very inexpensive it has a really great spoolie it lasts for a while can't go wrong if you can find a color match you cannot go wrong the Derma E Hydrating Serum with Hyaluronic Acid. I felt just me about it, so I finished it off on my neck and chest. That's all I can say about it. Okay, now let's get into samples. Okay, so I had three samples of the Charlotte Tilbury Airlit Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. Fair, medium, and dark. I used dark as a bronzer, and it was lovely like that. If you have a too dark face powder, try it out. Fair was great. This medium was okay, so I kind of mixed them. It was such a pretty finish. Two more. I loved it. It was such a smooth powder. Loved it. Okay. The Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cream. Finally tried this after wanting to try it after so many years. I really liked it. Um, I don't know that I would purchase the full size, but I did enjoy it. The Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue in Vanilla. This is my second sample of it. The first one I tried, I really enjoyed it. I thought this might be good for like summer days, just like to give me a little bit of tint, some SPF. But then I tried that again and I don't know, the second sample, I just wasn't as wild. I'm using that Color Science All Calm for that purpose right now. And while I realize it is a significant price difference, I'm enjoying that one so much more that I just don't need to purchase something else. When I use that up, then we'll cross that bridge when we get there. The Kiehl's Love Oil for Lips Untinted. I absolutely loved this. It felt so nice on my lips. Black Opium by YSL Perfume. It's a really good, like, dark, smoky, sexy scent. I love it. Orbe Signature Shampoo and Conditioner. Oh my gosh, y'all... If you have never used Orbe products, they smell like heaven. They smell so divine. I always say one day I'm going to buy them. Just, I mean, they make my hair feel great, but for the scent alone, it is so good. If you've tried them and you did not like the scent, I want to know because I've never heard anybody say that. I'm sure somebody's out there that didn't like it, but I mean, it's amazing. Okay, and then lastly, I actually depotted these in an empty 
moisture surge jar because I had so many. I had one, two, three, four, five, six of the La Mer soft creams. I think that's what it was. Look, let me tell you, Nordstrom does this and it really annoys me. They put a barcode over the front. Yeah, the soft cream. I really enjoy this moisturizer. I think it's good. Something about it reminds me of like Olay moisturizers. Like I'm not saying they act the same, but something about it reminds me of it. I think it just has that lotion smell. I will use a sample, but I will never purchase the full size. I just cannot justify that price. Okay, battery's blinking at me, so I need to get going. I just have wax and we're done. Wallflowers, pistachio ice cream. I'm so glad that's the last of that I have. <laughs> Sassy Girl Aroma Cupcakes at Tiffany's. Oh, chunk bag of wax melt. I love this. It is amazing. It is like the best cupcake bakery type scent. I love it. And then two Bath and Body Works candles. They have not been as fragranced as they used to be. After I use up what I have, I don't know if I'm going to be repurchasing. Hot Cocoa and Cream. Love the scent. This one had like hardly any throw. This one had a decent throw. It was Hot Fudge Sunday. It smelled amazing. Amazing. Um, but then like it's so hit and miss with them on whether they're going to be fragranced or not. So I'm really disappointed. And I know other ones of you mentioned the same thing in my last empties video when I said that. So I'm not alone on feeling that way. So that is all for my empties this month. Let me know what you've used up. Let me know anything and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.